on the grassy plains of an embattled French meadow that endured much political strife sits a majestic castle with a harrowing history of its own. Originally intended to be an imported fortified castle, construction of this dignified landmark finished in the early 16th century. Exactly one year ago, after the castle had been fading into oblivion for decades a priori, we visited this phenomenal place and could not believe our eyes. As centuries passed, the property was inhabited by the military nobility and various lieutenants who played a predominant role during the French Revolution. The personal legacy of generation upon generation is now left behind, only to be devoured by nature as vegetation creeps through windows and doors. Today we take you on an intriguing adventure back in time, as we visit this castle and take you on a journey through priceless historical mementos and invaluable antique furniture. One can rightly ask how such places even exist and how one could ever leave such abundant history behind for the fate of the elements. Today we are opening and sharing a discarded hidden treasure that has remained closed for years. Fortunately, the future of this building looks bright. The castle was recently bought and is currently being replenished back to its former glory. But before that happens, we're taking you on one last look behind its spellbound walls. Exploration of the place you're about to watch dates back over a year ago. The castle has been sold now and is currently under renovation, making this property not abandoned anymore. All right, so welcome back, everyone. A brand new day, somewhere in France, in the forest, and yeah, here we are walking again on a beautiful way to this beautiful abandoned chateau and. I really love these roads. I mean, we really need to show this to you. It's just, have a look. The so, endless roads to these castles. Yeah, just the imagination that the people who used to live here, they would always need to take these roads only to get to their house, their castle. Bro, it's castle time again. I'm so excited. Yeah. I yeah. can't wait for it. Always a very long driveway to actually get to these places. Yeah. How long was it? Around eight to nine hours I think in total? Yeah. No, but I also mean a driveway here. Oh. It's always a long distance to actually reach the actual premises. Oh yeah, yeah, true, true, true. But yeah, also a long drive. Also a long drive. As usual, we drive long to be able to document all these fascinating places. That's maybe not the part you always see, but 
it's definitely one of the most time investing parts definitely. and also sometimes one of the most exhausting parts exactly, exactly. but yeah as you can see we are literally in the middle of the forest not a single house around us and here in the rural countryside of France lies this enormous construction it's truly a historical landmark but we will tell you the history once we are inside now let's try to find it As you can tell, in this part the weeds are growing a little bit higher. So this road definitely has not been driven for a longer time already. Always these creaking dry leaves at the beginning of summertime. So there we come in a more open field. We can already see it. It's um, huge. It's freaking huge. Bro, that is humongous. It's, it's literally like a fairy tale. I mean, this is just an open field, and then over there is a castle. A huge, huge castle. It's, I'm excited for this one. Oh, yeah, me too, man. I cannot wait to see what beauty is left inside this place we did it oh my freaking gosh <sighs> bro this is enormous Definitely quite a while ago we visited such a big castle of this huge size. Wow. It seems that those shutters over there and windows are literally just open. It's gonna be a little climb, I guess, but yeah. It's never easy inside these castles. They are big, and most rooms are actually built on the first level. Well, monkey modus Raymond, going for the job. You can clearly tell it's not the first time we're doing this. So welcome back everyone on a brand new video and here we are walking down this grand staircase inside of a magistral abandoned castle that's just left to the elements now. And this place is a very historical landmark. Actually its construction started in the beginning of the 1600s with the outside barn parts and then eventually 
with a lot of help from people, which is Raymond going to tell you after this, they actually constructed this enormous castle in the start of the 1700s. Yeah, and they started in the 1700s and then we come to this very, very noble persons and very important persons for this castle. They were actually lieutenants in the French Revolution and their name was Charles and Julien. Charles was, an, um, was a lieutenant and he got many Medal of Honours and many respect from the French Revolution and the French War. And talking about Julien, this is actually a pretty sad story. He were only 31 years old when he passed away during a battle, which was very close near this castle. So he eventually passed away. But due to this history of this beautiful property, it just remains so, yeah, I don't know how to say it, man, the inside, it's... This is one of those castles, imagine, it was followed up by generation and generation of a huge family that was very important for the time era. It was the military nobility of that time. And eventually the last family generation could just not afford the upkeep anymore, mm -hmm. the maintenance. Mm -hmm. Uh, the renovation costs and eventually, like I told you in the start, it's left to the elements. Nature is making its way inside. Yeah, indeed. And we have these people, they lived during the 1800s and then we go to the 1900s from now. And this is actually a crazy part about it, is that on this area and also on the land, there were around 60 to 70 people working near the castle, in the castle, just I guess it was just nobility. I guess it just wasn't a, an honor for the people that lived in the area to just work over here. It's unbelievable, man. It's literally located like this is a huge garden. Like this is all of the premises where we are right now. But actually right over there is just a tiny little village with only a few houses and back in those days, this was the most generous building in that time. Right now it's just completely left neglected and forgotten about. It's unbelievable and we are just going to show it to you yeah so without further ado enjoy watching another incredible documentary of a place in france that will leave you speechless let's do this so there we kick off and this will be an incredible adventure. One of the books for Explomo. Oh, definitely one of the books. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> I mean, these are carpets and they are so, so well detailed. They are actually tapestries. Yeah, tapestry carpets. And they remind me of gods. I don't know why, but just looking at them, it looks like a fairy tale inside of here. Those huge tapestries, they were all just hand embroidered and they are so incredibly detailed. That's the most fascinating part, I think. And I mean, look at them. Don't they look like gods or, well, at least very noble people? Yeah, like they, they look like ago. angels and gods. Yeah. Especially with those things on their head. And look, this person's actually sitting in sort of a king's bed or chair with all those curtains and draperies, must have been very important. And over here you have this yeah, sort of nature style theme. Some other landscape buildings. Yeah, and even castle over there. Yeah. <laughs> it's just incredible. Yeah, beautiful. Also have a look at this lamp over here. All the master crafted works inside, just left to dust. Just the imagination, <laughs> everything inside of this place is just handmade and it's beautiful furniture. And for dated real. from centuries ago. Dated from centuries ago. And actually, before we go further, we have two ways to go. And I think we should go there. Yeah, so let's stay in the style of this beautiful tapestry room yeah. to another tapestry room. Exactly, because I have a story to tell you. Because you're probably guessing when this place is abandoned. Well, let's have a look. 
And then, I will tell you. This was their grand dining hall. All right. Yeah. And then talking about the grand dining hall. The major of this town, or yeah, the mayor of this town, in 2000, she was so happy about this place that she gave a dinner at this table over here. And it was with all the people from the village and they were having drinks and wines and it was just a traditional French dinner evening. And what they did afterwards in 2000 and 2001, they created um, a menage for horse riding. I don't know the Eng English name for it, but yeah. like where you can take lessons in horse riding and they actually won three times medals in Paris for being the best horse riding school in the area. And then talking about the abandonment, it eventually closed in 2011. And since then, it's abandoned for 10 years right now. And the only thing that you will see inside of here, which is left, is this very old decaying furniture. I really love it. Priceless antiques, absolutely. Let's start showing all the wondrous items inside of this place. Over here, these very chic candle holders and even parts of an oil lamp over there. And again, this entire room is decorated with tapestries on the wall. And it looks like gods in the middle of a war or something. They're holding knives. You know, I'm really questioning. It's possible that those were all uh, gods and goddesses from the Greek mythology or something. Yeah, yeah. Look over here. You can still all the glasses inside. And this is a dead all. A dead all. What is that doing here? Hmm. I think it's... Uh, it's a real one, man. Yeah, yeah, but it's taxidomy. What the heck has happened with that? Do you think it's six in me? I don't know, man. Hmm. It's very strange. It does not even look stuffed or something. No. Wow. It's for the ink, right? Yeah, the old ink pot. <laughs> Out of marble. It's incredible. The stuff we will si find inside of here are just priceless museum pieces. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no, I can't open this up. It's been closed for way too long. Yeah, yeah. That's the deal. And then look. <laughs> you know what I love about this place? We were talking about this huge family from generations to generations. This military nobility of that time. And we will almost see all of the most important faces of this family tree. I think almost every single one. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Actually, I will hold the painting for you, there are actually two doors. I don't know where they are. Oh, wait a second. I'm gonna remove this chair. Alright, as you can see, we are very careful with this painting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All their glasses and plates are just left on these shelves. Probably the people still drank outside of this in 2011 when the town mayor actually arranged this. <laughs> Insane. Now actually, there is another door over here. Yeah, this one is locked. Oh, unfortunately. That's sad. <laughs> well, then we come to these again. You know, the size of these ones is just humongous. It's, it's yeah. enormous. I mean, That's always so impressive. They are twice our height. <laughs> I mean, how can you actually make this? Yeah, imagine they were just crafted by hand. Yeah, right. And do you think they just put it over here and then craft it? Or just put it on the floor? 
If somebody actually knows how they make these things, leave it down in the comment section because I'm always very curious how you can make something such detailed back in the days. And wow. I don't know if you noticed something specific about this one. It's, look, it's the Chinese emblems again. It was, back in these days, it was very um, royal and it was a show off of being wealthy that you would have some furniture which has like a Chinese background. Yeah, oriental. Oriental ones, indeed. Even birds and everything. And those are elephants, so yeah, you can definitely tell the oriental style. Again, so incredibly detailed and plenty full things to look at. Over all their oh. china plates. Yeah. You really feel little walking inside of those spacious rooms mm -hmm. in this castle. And then, yeah, we have the dining table. Those are probably all jugs for liquor. Yeah, liquor or water. And look, right on top the family emblem. The family coat of arms, just carved inside this impressive cupboard. Huh? Did you actually mention curtains? Not yet, not yet. <laughs> it's about to come. Look over here at these carvings, the shapes and everything. This was also something they would put on top of the table. Over there, for silver. Oh yeah, some silver cutlery was once inside. Right. Over here, even still some of the cutlery is left. Imagine that maybe even the military nobility once cut their plates and yeah. cut their meat with this. Just ate with this. Oh, as Raymond mentioned also, these huge curtains next to the window entrances. Again, China down there. What is this? Looks like for tea or <laughs> coffee. I think it was for tea or water. Yeah, or milk, who knows? Is there something? Uh, a newspaper. Now I'm really curious, man. What date is written on this newspaper? Price is still in francs, so. I see one euro over here. 2006. Okay. Oh, I'm 100% for sure that it's 2011. Now there is one really strange thing. Yeah. Those doors are actually leading to the other part of the castle with the huge tower you've seen on the drone shot. But they are all just firmly closed and locked. Not a single movement to be brought in them. Nope. And also not in the other one. It's so strange, man. This part is just completely locked. It makes you so curious about what's behind these doors. But yeah, of course, we never force anything. So unfortunately. And we respect the places as we find them. Yeah, yeah. But we are quite happy that this is already amazing. Oh yeah. And this one over here, this is my favorite one out of all of them. I think this is so cool, but that's just me. <laughs> it's a knight just knocking someone down. Yeah, and a horse. horse. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. And then in this tapestry over here is actually a secret door. It's a hidden door sense. that we often find so <laughs> elegantly made and it's leading to Another part, a little bit the behind the scenes part, I would call it, where the servants would work for them and where probably the generous and important persons would not often find themselves in. No. So many mice and red droppings everywhere. Yeah. The place has been very, very badly decayed in only 10 years. Yeah, it's crazy, huh? for only 10 years of abandonment.
What is this? It's uh, an elevator or yeah. something. I think so. For food? <laughs> well, then you know you're wealthy if you're in an elevator. Probably they had servants just in the basement there mm -hmm. who would actually transport stuff up to here where there are cooks and everything mm -hmm. was. Because where? It's a very tiny kitchen. But it was the kitchen. You can definitely tell that this kitchen is also not that big of a deal. It's a quiet plain kitchen and probably this was another just room where servants. the servants would make use from. Yeah. yeah. They would prepare dinner over here. Still everything is there. Even a coffee grinder. A look, parts of oil lamps. Many, many newspapers. Two thousand and ten. Yes. That's one of the last ones. All these oil lamps. Yeah, plenty. You okay. can only imagine that one day there was no running power and electricity inside this place. Oh well. Everything was just oil and gas. Several days, bro. Oh. What a history. Also, old, old bars of the oil lamp. You see? Yeah. It was actually used to inflame them, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. It's also saying bougie de l'étoile. <laughs> and then? A fridge test? Yeah, well. Nothing. Of course. Luckily, no Luckily. drinks from the year 1600s. No, no, no. Well, and then we come to the point. Where I'm actually pretty curious is we have some food products left. Wow. And I found some dates. But these ones are very old. But then right over here. And this definitely concludes me that this place is abandoned since 2011. Of course, also due to the story that I found, but also due to this. So vegetables, yeah, expired at 2012. So and they are mostly good for a long period. Yeah, quite an amount of time. Yeah, exactly. So 2011. Probably already captured the glimpse of the stairs over here going down, actually leading to the basement. Well, I think this door is locked. It is and yeah. very rusty. Sally. It's always quite frustrating if some of the doors are locked. Yeah. Because he will still remain curious about what's behind him. What's behind this door. <laughs> yeah, you can just tell that this is some pretty old kitchen tools. Some eggs also. A little hair, the old copper pans. Yeah. <laughs> centuries and centuries. And that's so cool. The French people would actually uh, preserve their cheeses and some food products inside of this. Oh, I never knew. Yeah, they always put it in the basement. Because over here, the weather conditions and the moisture was just perfect. Whoa. This was once filled with vegetables and right now it feels just empty. <laughs> it's 
So some bottles of wine over here too. Yeah. What is this bicycle over here doing <laughs> upside down? Yeah, I don't know. I think they were working on it. It's pretty strange, huh? We're even still the trash containers. And they're just covered. What's here? Well, this was like a workroom. Oh yeah. They probably do a lot of working on the stable. Yeah, well, actually, also according to the story, it said that they had like uh, uh, 60 employees. Yeah, but the, the Smith gardeners. Oh, Smith. The blacksmith. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then, just look at the go webs. This one's probably going to the outside garden, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, so now we are at the down part of the main hallway. Just some wood storage over here. Okay, pretty random. Another no. bicycle upside down. <laughs> yeah. Why, oh why? <laughs> so strange. Oh, this is pretty cool. What is this? This is probably like yeah, all the electricity <laughs> switches of the building. Ooh. It's, it's, it looks like it. Uh, it looks very old fashioned. I definitely don't think the mechanism is like this anymore nowadays, but you can also see all the electrodes on top. Bro, they were pretty smart. Look. Look. It had to do with these jars. What is that? Huh? Really? Yeah. So those lines were leading to those jars. I've never seen that. You think it's an anode and a cathode? Yeah, yeah. It could be. Yeah, this is anode and cathode. But why? Bro, okay. why? This was the very old fashioned way from generating electricity. And, and so, okay, okay. When there was no power lines mm -hmm. in towns and cities. <sighs> okay. That is freaking insane. That's sick, man. That's really sick. That is something different. <laughs> another level. Oh, this is also another level. Dang. I hope this is for horses. But this is strange, I mean. Oh, is that this is definitely horse equipment and mechanic things, but there is a bathtub over here <laughs> in the basement. Now imagine the Nubble family, they had all their own bathroom in the bathrooms. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, for who was this bathtub? For the servants. <laughs> exactly. They the would kitchen. just spot themselves right in the basement over here. A very strange idea. But at least they had a fireplace, so it would be a little bit warm for a basement temperature. Yeah, and they probably also love to skiing. <laughs> <laughs> Those are actually skis, yeah. yeah. You and won't say it on the naked eye, but... In the French Alps. <laughs> I thought this was torture equipment. I got scared. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. But yeah, you, you can definitely also tell that probably one day people were imprisoned. Okay. Yeah. 1600. During times of revolution oh, yeah. and war. It's always, yeah, such a relative definition. I mean, the might of army. One day these people, everybody was, yeah, just comprehensive to them. It's and right now, nobody even cares about it anymore. Yeah. I, I, One day these people were actually the emperors. The, the they, they, they were just mighty people inside this village, town, area. It's unbelievable, right? Yeah. It's very hard to believe how times can change, but you really get aware of it when you walk through such places. And then you definitely get aware that status and materialistic things is not a show off. Nope. It's all about the life experiences that you create. Exactly. Wealth doesn't mean happiness. No.
Is this for a hat? It looks mm. like it, huh? I don't know. Yeah, I really don't know. Hmm. The velvet case. Very special. Bought in a store in Paris, actually. Yeah. <laughs> the box over here. And yeah, this is just some basement equipment. Oh. But this is strange. Why? Why did they do this? Well, they wanted to close this place one day at least with this bricked wall. Right now it's just open on all sides. Yeah. Oh, and over here they were storing their food. There were still some jars. One scanned food left. It's completely digesting and rotting away. I really love the, like, the structure. Like it was about to fall, but then... <laughs> Look. It just yeah. saved it. <laughs> <laughs> it is completely skewed and only on top of there, as Raymond mentions, the wall actually prevented this thing from collapsing down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> and then, as we were talking about jails and imprisonment, maybe one day those are the actual iron bars. Because you see over there, there also, are also iron, iron bars, bars and everything. There is a very good chance that people were just imprisoned, imprisoned here. over here. Damn, it's scary, very scary. All right, so and then we're going back up again from the basement. And we actually come to the huge main entrance. Where is even umbrellas? <laughs> Shoot a bull. Some badminton. And look inside of here. We've already seen some wood stuck, but over here was even more. <laughs> okay. Well, they definitely like sports. Jeux de boule, badminton, golf over there. Yeah. They are very wealthy. It hasn't been opened for a decade and this is the aftermath of it. So crazy. <laughs> Only for 10 years. And then have a look where Raymond is walking up. And we still have so many things to show you inside this place. So yeah, let's just get started. So we walk back and we come again in this part and we actually kicked off our actual exploration. But now on the right side over there, there is the other part you've not seen yet. piano it keeps on going there is a wonderful grand piano a plyo very very famous french brand very known for his harps down beneath in its design and this chair piano oh. chair because of decay it has just fallen down yeah. it's broken in one side Yes. If I don't fall, I can see it's created in 1855. Oh, damn. All right. What? It's still perfect. Yeah, it's still perfect. Man. This one is in perfect condition. There's not a single key or a string that's broken. And I don't know if you see it, but isn't this red poison? Yeah, I was. I wanted to say it too. 
looks like red poison so i think they are still really caring about this instrument and for a good reason yeah. yes it's a beautiful beautiful instrument and i think also very valuable yeah very valuable for sure oh wow look at this antique pram well you probably know that i have a big big prejudice and love for prams and this is a beautiful one wow it's so old look at the inside and the big wheels it always reminds you of one of the first bicycles that were actually uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. invented also the wheelbase difference <laughs> wow it's just stick on here. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know if you already saw Yeah, that. I already pointed out there is this beautiful portrait with its generous cover, but there is also another one. You can clearly tell that these people were noble persons. Oh. <sighs> I'm not speaking about another one. One so important. Wow. And by the way, also not this on top of the door entrances they also made these wonderful paintings i just still can't believe how they did this <laughs> well it was all master craft at work that's one thing for sure oh yeah this it looks like for a certain part they tried to store some stuff over here yeah 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 because what is pretty strange is there is some locks around some of the furniture, so that's kind of strange. It's strange because some items are definitely, in my eyes, very precious and are not being saved. Yeah. But chairs and stuff, they just have those locks around them, like they don't want anybody to steal and take them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a chandelier. <sighs> oh, so detailed, huh? And then a typical French cabinet with the velvet inside. Well, and bro, talking about French, it also has an oriental style. Yeah, well, with its things inside. Or are you talking about the outside? Oh, yeah. And there's the again lion. And up the front, it's a fish. Yeah, yeah. Definitely something oriental too. What's this box over here? There's nothing inside. Even an oriental vase down beneath here. Hmm. Pretty cool. Oh, no way. Oh, it's sick. That's so, so, so sick. You see what she's holding? Yeah, an Asian fan. I think I saw that one. Really? Yeah. Where? It's in the, it's in the bathroom. All right. Well, keep on watching and yeah, find out if we will find this oriental fan of this beautiful woman over here. There is just so, so many details to point out. This is also pretty cool. This was an entrance ticket and it's 10 francs and it's dated from 1943, even during the war. And over here are some old games. What do you think the entrance tickets were for? I don't know. They're I all think, numbered. I think it's circus, actually. Some knitting tools. Whoa, look at this. What is this? This is like a, a French game they would play on this round table. Do you know the name of it? I don't know the name. Yeah, yeah they could definitely... That actually put their scores or something in here. I yeah. don't know how this game works. I definitely know Mikado. Yeah, yeah, of course. But I think this game is very outdated. <laughs> Looks like you had these balls. There is one ball still inside. And you actually had to throw them in somebody else's hole. And then you would get a point or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, there is again these beautiful curtains on top. And look over there. The size of that mirror, it's that's mind-boggling. And on top of it, it, it looks like a snake, but... Well, looks well like let's try to get a little bit closer. 
it's pretty tight in here. There is also a rocking horse, <laughs> a very antique one. And it's a deer actually. Huh. Let's see, a snake. Yeah, like a cobra you mean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was actually an old class picture in school. And where is it dated from? 1954-1955. Probably the last family generations that lived there. Also some tiny stuffed birds over there. And we found some old notes. Yeah, well this is a point system. And this point system was for... I found it. Well it's actually for um, billiards. I mean, bridge. Bridge, okay. Yeah. I like playing a game of bridge. So we have this marble fireplace over here with still the old net in front, but as you can see, they try to seal it. Yeah. Maybe because the chimney could catch fire and then eventually the castle would burn down. I have no clue, man. I really have no clue. This could have been one of the latest residents of this castle before it became unoccupied ever since. Yeah. And then what is this? It's very heavy. Wow. 1846, 1892. Hmm. I think this was an important person for the family and this was in remembrance of him. Yeah. Yeah, that's very beautiful. It's very heavy, man. The copper plate. Yeah. Looks like massive iron. And then finally, we're gonna make our way to a part that will also absolutely blow your mind. But first, this was one of the soldiers. Well, soldiers, sorry. Pardon. Pardon. Lieutenant. <laughs> the lieutenant. Yeah. This was one of them. You can tell by his uniform. And then another one of these paintings. And prepare yourself, hold your seats, because there is this incredible library, a spiral library in one of the castle towers. And have a look around you. This is some proper DK. I think this is one of the coolest libraries I've ever seen, according to DK and just everything that is left. I mean, have a look around you. <laughs> I can keep turning for hours and hours. There is books all around me. You literally don't know where to look. That's incredible. All these old books, Bibles, dictionaries, encyclopedias. Because back in those days, there was no modern internet. Oh, no. People needed to search everything up in those books, different chapters. They were very well organized because when they wanted to find something out, they could not just grab their mobile phone and Google search it. No, no. They, they had, had this library for their Google library. search. Books, encyclopedias, just all the information they needed was right over here. And what they also did over here was a lot of postal cards and a lot of pictures. Man. And this is very cool. We have plenty of these, but I want to take this big one. Uh, yes. Wow. Right. You see, maybe if you shine with the light, you can show them how detailed these things are. Wow. It's unbelievable. These stamps. And they're all different ones. Yeah, they're all, all different. All different signs. All different signs, yeah, and they're so well detailed. Just incredible. Have a look at the quantity of all those cobwebs, too. <laughs> and then we have another family member to close the library part with right over here. You've already seen so many different faces. Yeah. You can probably only remember the half of them right now. Mm -hmm. So over here we have another wonderful portrait and look at the cute tiny dog Dominated. 
This is so well detailed. And then we've actually talked about how these people like sports, how these people like gaming, for yeah. example, bridging. But yep. there was one other sport or game they really liked. And what do you think it was? Well, if you've watched previous castle videos, they can probably guess it. Oh yeah, definitely. There's still one thing you've not seen yet. The billiards room. <laughs> yes, there we are. And what a beautiful room with, again, so many portraits. So many, so many of them. So well detailed. Again, wow. For the fireplace. I really like this one. It's beautiful. Look at it as a wall. And actually, one thing you've maybe not seen yet, but I spotted it while I was filming the B-roll shots. Is have a look at the chandelier actually. Look there at these faces on it. Yeah. It's Ooh, so cool. That's sick, man. That's so well detailed. But what wasn't it that they, in the middle they would have like this, like this big um, candle? I don't think so. I think it was only for the outside parts. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. So many details, bro. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then look. All the billiard sticks. They are all still there. At least most of them. That is incredible. Oh, that shot me again. And then over here they could actually count their scores. And like Raymond demonstrated, you could actually yeah bend that out and then you could grab the sticks out. Wow, also over there, it's wonderful. Detailed portrait, oh, very yeah. detailed. It's so lifelike. Wow, what a beautiful oil lamps. It's actually broken, but no, 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 they no, no, no. used to view pictures with this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, it's broken on this side. Yeah, it's open. You can Normally, you could watch trees goggles on the other side, and then you could see the prints and pictures yeah, yeah, being yeah, yeah. displayed. Oh, and some child games. Yeah, well, they must have had children too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the bricks are where. The wooden toys. <laughs> I remember myself still playing with this yeah. in my childhood. And then and also over there is green curtains. On the floor, some other games. Oh yeah, some rather modern ones. Some we also know nowadays. Well, wow. again, this marble, huh? And the statue on top of it. It's incredible. It's the Maria, Maria statue. Yeah. Yes. And look, you were talking about oriental styles. And again, on these bowls on top of the oil lamps, there are like dragons. And look. Wow. Genius. And you want to be more amazed? Look at this one. You know what this was? This is very, very long ago. It's actually this property. Yeah. Really? But this was indeed in a state where it was not completely built yet. This was in its prime. Yeah. This was really in a prime time. So this probably, yeah, this goes back very long ago. Imagine that back then people were already so, uh, so talentful. They had so much talent in all these details. This oh is yeah. You can tell that this person in a high military rank, all the medallions. This is funny. Those are actually the rules of a game of billiards, yeah. but very, very ancient. It's saying over here in French, the rules of a game of billiards. Plenty of rules are written down. 
I would love to know from when this is dated. Now we haven't pointed out the pool table itself yet. But have a look on the sides. They have this very detailed design with all those heads. It's definitely one of the most beautiful pool tables we found. Even down beneath. So well detailed. I think it's a one of a kind. Yeah, definitely. Oh. <laughs> I'm not good at this. <laughs> but you see on the sides they have those locks. Like this locks? Oh yeah, yeah. there were locks and you could actually grab that out. Okay, okay. Don't know what that was used for. And over here. Actually some of a score or something, 77 I'd say. Yeah. 7-7. Seven, seven. I think you could do it like this. Oh yeah, probably with the buttons. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> you know we're learning, man. <laughs> Sick. 50. That's cool, man. It's still flawlessly working. Yeah. <laughs> I can do this for hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is also feels so amazing when something is still working. Wow. That's mesmerizing furniture. With the flower pattern on, it's so beautiful. And then again, this beautiful portrait. So huge and so detailed. It's all just made by artists. Sadly enough, this one is a little bit damaged right over there in his face. But it can be easily restored. Oh, but this is my favorite, bro. <laughs> That's insane. This one? Yeah, with George Wake. My gosh. He looks very royal, huh? Yeah, and this one is definitely very, very old. It's incredible how they once painted this if you really start looking very, very detailed. Well, the fact is so incredible that you need to imagine that all these people you see over here inside this building just once stood somewhere, maybe inside of this castle, inside of another building, and they were just painted. They had a direct link with this property. Maybe they just slept inside the walls of this dignified building that we are currently in. And all of these people, they were just or living inside of here and they'd slept over here and they just took this position and then they were just hand painted. <sighs> it's unbelievable. You know, if, if, if you really look closely, it almost feels like things are coming alive over here. Oh yeah. Like I mentioned, it's lifelike. Ooh, a wonderful secretary desk. So detailed again. Yeah, there it is. Mm. Yeah, you can pull it. No, maybe I'm locking it. Oh, there it is. Oh, look, 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 look. Set. <laughs> I don't know what is on. on. I'm just always very curious to find some dates, but Paris. What is this even about? This is a doctor's receipt. Yeah, this is a doctor's receipt. Optique medicale. You see, this was actually for their eyes. It was an optometric uh, thing. Yeah, you see an ophthalmologist. It's just empty. All right, I'll put this back.
there we head back to where we started this video. But actually before we are making our way to the upstairs floors, there is still one place we need to show you. Oh yeah, and you will love it. So behind these doors, what do you think that was? Pause, freeze for a bit. Okay, leave it down in the comment section right now. And then we've been taking it. <laughs> A fire extinguisher. It still looks pretty modern. Yeah, that still looks pretty modern. Hmm. Well, then behind this door, we have a bedroom. And a beautiful one. <laughs> this is one of my favorite bedrooms we found in times, bro. This is so typical. This oh, is like French. a princess would yeah. sleep here, you know? Really like a princess. If you think about Disney and stuff. And this... I think that's our princess. Wow. With this bird in her hands. I think it was definitely uh, a little girl sleeping here yeah. in this room. And this is what I meant, but I don't think it's the same one. Damn. Oh yeah, but it's also a fan. Yeah. It's really cool. There's a very musty smell coming from that thing. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Ah, uh, Well, there was also a rock over here on the ground. And you see what it is. Is this a polar bear? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Insane. Little bear. Who knows, maybe this was her uh, boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> and look. Actually, not the colors from France in the sequence, but the colors from the Netherlands. But you need to look at it like this more, you know? Yeah, but I prefer to do it like this. <laughs> <laughs> but still, viva la France. We love you, France. <laughs> Especially for all the kind people that live here. And of course, it's beautiful. Castles. Abandoned places and castles. <laughs> Even still incredible paintwork over there. And then this was the storage part. Books, loads of them. What is this thing over here? Looks like an oil lamp, but a very strange shape, shape on top of, of it. it. Yeah. It's like a pillar or something. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I think it was just a normal lamp and there was like a lamp uh, head on it. A grey phone over here. Again, there is those tickets, but those ones are five francs. And then look, I always really like this cabinet. Plenty of bookshelves again. Wow. Many old encyclopedias. Yeah, plenty. Whoa, by the way, before you close it, you see that giant book on top of there? Do we have a letter? I really want to get I it. I wish we had a letter because that book is insane. I'm really curious what is inside <laughs> there. And then what is this? It looks like sort of a walking cane or something. Hmm. The desk over here. Oh. Wow, I really love the velvet design on it again. Yeah, and then look. Le Chateau. Oh yeah, the loop glass. Damn. There are many pictures over there, bro. Oh my. Stuff has just fallen down here. But, oh yeah, that's definitely the castle. Sick. Huh? And imagine how the garden was just once maintained and done. Beautifully maintained. Just neatly. <laughs> Even a handwritten letter. No, oh, they were writing to a friend. Her name was Yolande in 2004. Hmm. And she's saying, Soon I will be on holiday. So I want to confirm this to you. If it's okay, if you can watch after the house after the 15th of July. <laughs> Probably talking about this house. Yeah, yeah, Chateau would saying here. Damn. 
What is this? An old newspaper. Oh! Look, that's one of the family members. So they were also prominent in politics. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, that explains a lot again. <laughs> Another reason why they were so wealthy. But this was in 1970, so... Damn, I still... It's a zipper. Or not. There is still stuff inside. Yeah, there is still stuff inside. Maybe I'm just too dumb for this. Huh? I don't get it. Okay. Okay. Look over here. The old ink blots are too erased ink. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we find the ink pots and the ink blotter. I need to see, I, I can't get any height of the stuff that we're finding. They're so... Well, old fashioned, I wouldn't say, but. Yeah, we are just not used to it. We never saw these materials before we started exploring. We never used any of them. No, no, no. We have to do it with all the knowledge of the people watching this at home. And we are Dutch. I mean, this French countries and all the French furniture and all the French equipments are so different. Oh, yeah, def definitely. Well, over a stove in front of the fireplace a beautiful marble fireplace once again oh and this is uh, i think the man which you saw in the newspaper oh yeah looks like this was uh, in a religious meeting what is this a medallion but for what looks a medallion to give birth <laughs> Le Famille france okay okay get a medallion for that <laughs> all right well, besides the mirrors again, impressively high. This, this is an amazing room. Yes. Yeah. Now let's continue and guide them to the upstairs floors. Okay, so it's time to go upstairs. I'm walking on this side. Raymond has this private staircase on that side and yeah we are actually it's pretty sad we have to announce that again that part of the castle with those two doors over there is that locked is completely so locked. we only have a little part to show on this floor but still there's some beautiful bedrooms I mean if you keep standing there just imagine the size of the staircase. It's so huge. I mean, only the size of the staircase would already take one third of my house. <laughs> anyway, this is quite strange. Inside the wall, they made like another door, which is also firmly locked and not opening. Same for these two doors. We already checked it. Believe a word. Yeah, they're completely locked. All the codes still over there. Some puzzles, a game of checkers, and a lot of books again, probably for their leisure time, just for some amusement. Well, I feel some fresh air. Oh yeah, and that's logic. Those windows over there are open, and that hurts me. We gotta close them in. Yeah. To prevent any water from coming in. <laughs> Beautiful pattern over here, actually. Yeah. But apart from that, the bathroom is actually quite plain. Yeah. But this chair is also a high end antique. And you can clearly tell it was nobility because they had their own tiny bathroom over here. Like, yeah, not much of a bar room, but at least a sink with a mirror. Meanwhile, it's getting a little bit darker because Raymond's gonna try to close the windows as much as he can. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like that, man. You know how they work? Yeah, I know, but... Don't want to touch too much co-webs. I'm just afraid of the spiders. <laughs> you sorry. want me to do it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> do it, boss. <laughs> oh, check it. I, I think it's also a little bit stuck over here, down beneath. Isn't it? 
Like it seems blocky. Ah, I was missing that part. I don't know why this is not closing. Like this. Now I know it. Hey! <laughs> okay, let's go to the next bedroom. That's right next door. I think this one has a lot more charm than the other one. Oh yeah, it does. Still a crucifix above the bed. And after all, bedrooms were just pretty plain. Also normal for that time. And you see this? This was for the woman, so they could change their clothes. Yeah, and again, it's an oriental design. Keeps on coming back in the home. Well, I guess we have another window too close. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is so wide open. I mean, over here, still the windows are inside. Over here, I can just stick my arm through. Yeah. It's unbelievable. What a good man. I mean, if there is literally not a single owner or relative that seems to care about this place, I think I genuinely care more about this place than they do. So yeah. That's number two. This wallpaper is literally all resting over the door entrance to the connected bathroom that is right over here. Dang, Dang. it's filled with red droppings. Ugh, what is that? It's a spider? <laughs> it's a fake spider, or not? Nah? Yeah, man. That's uh, a plastic spider. I'm getting more afraid of spiders than you are currently. I don't know why, but this place... Uh, it's spider paradise, that's yeah, one it's thing really for sure. Yeah, it's spider paradise. Oh, this Imagine is that this is one of the clock towers. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is one of the clock towers, right? They just have the bathroom inside of the clock tower. Oh, that's sick. But this is even more sick. Yeah, oh. a uniform. Do you think it was from the first or the second? I don't think it was a war uniform. Because it's bought, well, tailleur militaire. It is actually a military uniform. Oh, for um, also according to this. Oh my. Wait, I'm gonna hold this for you. Yeah. So you can properly show them. Because on the left sleeve. Yeah, you see this, uh, yeah, this Nautic thing. Uh, looks like Air Force or something. I yeah, think. it's actually a rank. It's a ranking system. Okay. Probably these things also have a certain definition, but if you know that, just leave it in the comment section. And right over here, a Burberry suitcase. Oh yeah. It's pretty expensive rent. More of these frames. Luckily that frame didn't damage. So yeah, maybe put it back in a wiser place in there. <laughs> there we go. Now I haven't checked this. Yeah, this window is yeah, closed there. Yeah, yeah, this is closed. Well enough. I mean, some light is okay. Okay, so walking outside that one bedroom. We come back in the corridor again. There is this door over here. That's only a toilet. Oh, nothing so special. <laughs> what is this? That's locked. Well, there is a key. Hmm. No, not the right one. No. Unfortunately, too bad. Then the last thing for us to show them is actually the final floor of oh, the yeah. attic. Well, one other room. 
It's immediately around the corner. It's this one. Another tiny bedroom. I think definitely from a child. Yeah. Also concerning the childish and colorful wallpaper and everything. That could have even been on a marriage day one day. Wow. Look how the people are dressed. Beautiful iron bed. Those are even some nine millimeter bullets. Look. Us or again? Yeah, those chairs are again just latting onto each other with it's a very lock. strange, huh? Why, oh why? Yeah, some old magazines. And there is not much left over here. Only some frames in the walls. Yeah. That's what I always like about the chateaus. The walls are never naked, but they are always decorated. Always with decorated. Plenty of frames and stuff. Now what's really neat is that attached to this room is another castle tower. And that was actually another private, yeah. Well, bathroom? Sort of a bathroom, yeah. Because you had a mirror over there, they could do their grooming over here. <laughs> Even still some leather man shoes still in the box. <laughs> it's crazy. And some man. trainers also. <laughs> yeah. And then overlooking the front garden. So we wanted to go to the attic, but just did another quite unexpected discovery. Yeah, look, down over there, there is also this beautiful, oh, well, what is it? Oriental. Oriental style cabinet. Yeah. And then right next to it, actually, have a look at this. These are very old belts. Like very old ones. <laughs> I said to Moreno, it looked like Versace, but then he was like, bro, this is even before that it was made. These yeah. are very old. And also Maybe this. once worn by the military. Yeah, and also this. I thought this was like... No, 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 it's not. But this was from the knights. And even this, this was like the side part. On their shoulders? On the shoulders, yeah. My oh, gosh, there's yeah. dust coming from it. Ooh, unbelievable. This has been laying here for a long time, man. This is incredible, man. This was definitely from the lieutenants. Yeah, I think so too. Wow. We find so many historical treasures inside. <coughs> oh, yeah. Now let's go to the attic and find out what more historical treasures we can find. The spiral wooden staircase going up. And then we actually come to the servant quarters. This is where all the servants would sleep. And you can clearly tell bedrooms with less elegance, less luxury. More plain. Yeah. Pretty basic. plain overall. Just basic needs. Well, at least they had a better view. That's true. Hmm. Look at the tiny vanity over here. Yeah, it's completely empty. Dang, giant mainstays over here. It's in very bad condition. Not even gonna walk there anymore. Well, bro, look. You thought about the system. Oh, again. The electricity, you see? Over there it's saying the room of the madam, the room of the mister. 
the room of the friends, even in the friends room, the red room, the yellow room, the green room, <laughs> the rosé room. So they had, the green room was probably the billiards room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Sick, huh? <laughs> so cool. They just had names for their rooms. <laughs> because maybe they would elsewise just get lost in their own castle because it's so big. Yeah. What's there? What's that? I really don't know. Gan or something. Normally they are Nothing heads, special. Right? Hmm? Normally heads are stored in there, right? Yeah, but this was no head, man. It doesn't look like anything special. Yeah, this is just a big storage room. All right. Making our way through the corridor. Oh, yeah. You can tell DK in there. <laughs> this is a very plain room. But actually, the one on the other side was amazing. Yeah. But they've placed all these planks in front of it. So yeah, gotta crawl away over. Wow. This is like one of the most beautiful servant bedrooms I've seen. And I'm even doubting if this was a servant bedroom. Yeah, it's way because too beautiful. <laughs> which servant could actually afford this bag in the time? Wow, beautiful French clock. This is too good for a servant. Oh yeah. <laughs> what a charming room. Wallpaper is all just peeling off. And also the chair over there. Oh my. That's so well detailed. Wow, I really like the radio over here. Yeah. Tiny pocket radio, very vintage piece. A rosary right next to it. And this, this, there's, it's filled with straw. <laughs> Seems very solid. Yeah, it, it is, is very solid. And then over here, we have plenty of religious artifacts. Even still a receptacle over there for the holy water. And what's, yeah, that was all made from copper. Look, even a woman sitting inside of the castle. Yeah. That was probably one of the grannies from the last generation that lived here. Wow. They would probably pray here on this table, I guess. Beautiful. Okay, so at the end of this corridor in the attic, we have two other rooms, but have a look at the corner over here. Strange, there's this one sink. <sighs> Wondering where this actually served for, like, what I would they do with this? Wash I their I think hands? Wash, wash their hands, wash their feet. Oh, no, we don't have feet washers anywhere. You know, the sad <laughs> thing is, if you look to there, we can see the other part of the castle that we can actually not access. All of that we cannot access. That's a huge part. I think there is even a chapel. If I look at that entrance, I even think they had a chapel inside this oh, castle. I read something about a chapel. Yeah, because if you see that door entrance, it really looks like the door of a chapel. Hmm. Yeah, we will check it afterwards, after yeah. we left this part. All right, then showing this room. Oh, wonderful prayer chair, but that's for it, for here. And I think we gotta close it off for this one over here. That is very beautiful. This was definitely a bedroom of a servant. Religious artifacts again. This picture of a boy. What I just really love inside of this room is that beautiful pram over there. <sighs> it's properly antique. It's even more antique than the other one we found. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Imagine you would have been a baby and you would have been transported by this. That must have been such a big honor. <laughs> also this tiny stove over here. 
And again, another sign that these people loved sports. In Even the back time. in that days. <laughs> this is way older than the other ones. All right, and then we only have this corridor over here. And then we covered this enormous, generous castle as a wall. Well, this is again a room full of decay. You can see the ceiling and everything just slowly collapsing and oh, degrading. Full of decay, man. Oh, unbelievable. Actually, I also saw another part. Was this, like, this was a carpet or something one day. You see? Mm -hmm. It's just so dusty that you barely notice it anymore on the ground. Look. Even the wall is destroyed over there. Yeah, it's incredible. Plenty of chests over here. And just some general storage. Now I noticed this, I checked out this castle tower and don't shock, but there are so many like rests of old bee nests and wasp nests. It's incredible, like over there, over there, over there, over there. They've all just been here in the woods in summertime. Right now they're not there, luckily. Yeah, But probably. this is then swarming with bees <laughs> in the summer. Holy. It's, yeah, it's really insane. <laughs> and they're really big nests, at least some of them. And then lastly, we have another servant bedroom, which it can't get any more French, a sleigh bed, a wooden sleigh bed. <laughs> So this beautiful baby bed over here. You could wiggle around with it most of the times. Yeah, it should wiggle, as you can see over there. And then over here, we have a complete gallery oh, full damn. of old people that were involved in the family. Ancestors from centuries ago. Damn. That's beautiful, man. Yeah. Baby chair over there, too. And now to show you the contrast of humanity and mother nature. A bird found its way in and never found its way out. It got stuck in air. There's its skeleton, even more rests of these bee nests. Everything. It's really insane. Whereas the castle has been withering away for several years of four, it was recently bought by a passionate French man who is thankfully going to breathe life in this meticulously designed historical structure once more. For us, it was time to leave now, after being inside for eight hours. We closed everything again in the way we encountered it and appreciated the architectural beauty of this castle once more. All right, so there we walk away of this giant abandoned castle here in France. <laughs> and I have to say, I thoroughly enjoyed it. This was insane. And I mean, just looking at the front of it right now, this is unbelievable. There are even faces just over there, as you can yeah. see. It's so, so incredible, this structure, how you can create something yeah, like yeah. this. The details on the facade are mind-blowing. And also the inside, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I really, really like this. Anyway, it's actually such a shame that nobody ever decided to replenish this castle back to its former glory. And we sincerely hope that one day people still have enough money to invest in it and make something beautiful out of it again. But until that day, the future of this generous building is still rather unsure. And before it might be history forever, we documented it. And we really hope you enjoyed our perspective on this place and our journey back in time together. And if you did, then you know the drill. Yeah, like, subscribe, comment right down below. Ring the bell notification button right up there. And then we will see you on our next adventure. Peace out.